I have your attention, please? Now, if it's one thing that I hate that the tech brands are doing, especially the startups, is when now that you have a product, okay, your product can do this, your product can do that, that's fine. Your product can do whatever it wants. But one thing I hate is when now that the brand we're promoting this product as if it's something that is actively working. But however, if you should use their product, it doesn't work at all. It cannot even do anything that it says it can do. I hate that so much. Like, I hate it. Now, excuse my outburst, but this is something that I really hate that tech brands do. And I've not seen people talk about this issue. Like, I've not seen anyone, no creator, nobody has talked about this thing. So I decided, let me actually talk about this thing with a personal story. Okay, so basically, this story happened two years ago. So two years ago, I made a video. And this video was talking about how there are no food delivery platforms where I live that can track your order in real time. So essentially, that video I made at the time went viral and it got the attention of a brand. Now, for the purpose of this video, I am going to be calling the owner of the brand, John Doe. So John Doe reaches out to me and he's like, oh, I like your video. I like how you highlighted this certain issue that you know that I have a platform that I built that solves this issue and everything. And I'm like, wow, nice. Tell me more about it. So essentially, this platform works like you know glovo and chow deck all of that that can actually track your driver in real time and like you can you basically order and then when you order something you can see where the driver is and then they'll deliver it to you and then you can also do ride sharing like you know boat and uber how it has that stuff. so you can order rides on the app and then you can even you know like do deliveries like if you want somebody to deliver an item for you they can do that within the app and all that stuff like that and i was really really impressed like it had a lot of features and i was like wow like i'm happy to see that someone wants to build this type of thing now john doe was basically telling me so much about the app and blah 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 and that basically he was looking for content creators who could create content promoting the app and all that so i was like hey my sister's an influencer and all that stuff like that so why don't you guys work together and make a video promoting the platform and he was like yeah sure so my sister and john doe they were talking and everything and then john doe wanted to pay her a very small amount of money to make a video about the platform now this is way below her rate that she would be charging so she refused and said she can't do it because the rate was way too small john doe didn't want to pay her the rate that she was asking for so they stopped talking and nothing was made between them but however john doe found a way bigger influencer than my sister and paid this influencer to promote the platform as if it was working now, in as much as this platform was promising and all that, this platform was essentially dead on the rival. It was practically useless. This platform was literally non-functional and could not even do anything that John Doe said it could do. Now, I tried to use this platform to order food. It didn't work and it was Valentine's Day. And oh boy, I was hungry. HUNGRY! I tried to use this platform to book a ride it didn't work i literally tried to even fund the platform because the platform had a wallet and you could fund it and all that i tried that it also didn't work at all and the thing that annoyed me the most is that john doe put up this platform on the play store and app store for people to download and this platform literally wasn't working and john doe would literally post about this platform on this page make it look at the people are using it people are enjoying it that download this app and be part of the users that blah 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 when that platform wasn't working at all but you want to know the funny part of all of this let me just continue the story okay so sometime after all that stuff so there's this content creator who was in my state and this content creator made a post about how both drivers essentially charge times two or times three of whatever is priced on the app and the content creator was complaining about it heavily. So in the comment section, everybody was agreeing with content creator that this is annoying and everything. But then, however, somebody who works for John Doe, let's call this guy agent, 
commented that oh that if you use our platform that drivers will not have to charge time stores and draw whatever is on the app and everything blah 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 so then i make a response video essentially to the content creators post about this thing and complained about it as well and somehow some way me and agent started exchanging messages i don't know how so agent essentially wanted me to promote the platform even though this platform was not working so then i asked agent one simple question does your platform work agent now responded that oh that you know that there's a referral program on our platform you can make money from it i asked agent again does your platform work the guys really blabby hey we have a referral program you can make money refer people and you get tons of money and i was like if you know your platform isn't working get out of my dms from there me and agent essentially stopped talking and i was just really annoyed by the fact that they were promoting this thing as if the platform was working like i kept seeing agents story and they'll be promoting oh this app is working people are using this thing how to use the app and do blah 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 when nobody's literally using the app for anything but do you want to know the funny part after all this thing i basically saw another platform so this platform is like a ride sharing platform like boat and uber where you can book rides and everything so now they paid an influencer to promote the platform as if it's actually working and stuff but you want to know the funny thing this platform was not working at all for several days and several times i tried to use the platform to book a ride to go somewhere and every single time it failed and these people were posting on their page every day that this platform is working platform doing the platform doing that and they even put a billboard somewhere that this platform is working all this platform today and do this thing and for me i've kept seeing this thing over and over and over again with different platforms and let me just be honest with you any brand that actually does this thing where you have a platform that doesn't work it makes me to see you guys as stupid like dumb and all that stuff. like i'm just being unfiltered like any brand that does this thing for me it is a turn off it's a huge turn off y'all look stupid as heck like how do you guys expect people to take you seriously when your platform doesn't even work you'll be making all the promises in your platform can do that but at the end of the day your platform cannot even do one thing one simple thing one job y'all have it just makes you guys to look so stupid and lack credibility at the same time like how does anybody think that way now my advice for brands that do this it is better for you to promote the thing okay that this thing is coming soon we want to do this we want to do that it's better for you to promote it now that way than for you to have a full-blown app website everything like that that you want people to use one that thing does not work at all that is what is better for you to do as a brand than to make yourselves to look stupid that is just my take on this thing so um if you're anybody like a content creator or someone in tech and a brand tried to do this thing with you or you've seen this thing happening with brands or whatever please share your stories in the comments below okay and you know i hope i see you guys um next time okay bye